This tutorial is for the Inventor Train Linkage Arm. In Inventor, we want to start a new standard IPT. We want to go to Start 2D Sketch, select a sketch plane, and we're ready to draw. Now, as we analyze this part, we see that the arm is made up of uh, basically a rectangle in the middle and two circles on either end. So we need to do two things. Number one, make sure these two circles are lined up perfectly horizontal with each other. And then make sure this bar is equidistant from the midline to the top. So we want to make sure the circle holes are in the center, this dotted line, the center line here of the bar. So there's a, a few ways we can do that geometrically, but um, we'll see what we get. So we're just going to start with a circle on the left, and then we'll draw. Now, if you'll notice, there's a faint dotted line as I move across. That tells me, if I can find that dotted line on the other side, that I've actually got two circles that are already uh, lined up horizontally from each other. That's a good thing. Otherwise, we can go through and we can use our horizontal constraint to make sure by clicking on the centers of the two lines that they are now lined up horizontally with each other perfectly. That helps us when we go to draw um, lines across to connect the circles, making sure this is also horizontal. And then we're going to draw lines across here, connecting these. And if it's not, let's say we didn't make it horizontal. The, the bottom line looks a little, little off kilter. So we click the horizontal constraint and then click the line and that lines it back up. Now, my concern is this top line is not the same distance from the center point as the bottom line. This looks like it's further. So what we can do is we can click on the dimension tool and we click the center and then we click the line and now we can dimension the distance. Well, before I do that, I probably should go ahead and get my distances or my sizes for my circles um, and the lengths. So overall length is 3.5 from center, center point to center point, 3.5. So let's go ahead and put that on there. Um, we'll come back to this. Let's delete this. So dimension from the center of the two circles, and that is 3.5. And then zoom out so you can see it all again. Total thickness is 0.25. So the total thickness of the bar, or the total height of the bar, I should say, is 0.25. So we're going to do this. It's 0.25. The radius is 0.1875 for the circle. Now that's giving me a radius because, technically speaking, in this diagram, when they put the dimensions on it, that's no longer a circle. It's two straight lines with an arc. So that's why it's giving you a radius, not a diameter. So we need to dimension it as a diameter. So that should be doubled. But we can let Inventor do the math. So if we dimension this as 0.1875 times 2. Sorry, times should be the star above the 8 times 2. There we go. And now that has given me 0.375 as the diameter. And so I can just use my equal button to make these two equal. Now they're the same size. Oh, I used the parallel button, didn't I? No, that's right. They're now equal. That's what this little equal sign means. So, so far so good. The only thing I need to make sure I do now is dimension 
what we tried to do earlier, from the center of the circle, try again, dimension from the center of the circle to the top line, and it should be the same distance as the center of the circle to the bottom line. So what's the, if we know the total distance here is 0.25, it should just be halfway. So 0.125. And then we want to do the same, well, it, we'll double check, make sure the bottom's the same. And it says 0.125. And if I click it, it gives me an error message because you don't need to distance or dimension from the center to the bottom. <clears throat> if this is already halfway, then that tells you the other one is also 0.125. So those are the dimensions for the, basically the dog bone shape. <clears throat> so I finished sketch. No, uh, I should not have finished sketch. So if you, if you finish sketch, you need to go back into it. Instead of clicking new sketch again, which gives you another sheet of paper, you want to just double click on sketch one. The reason I'm doing that is I want to go ahead and trim out this piece of circle that I don't need. Trimming that little piece of circle now makes this one continuous part a little bit easier to extrude. So my extrusion thickness is 0.125 according to this. 0.125. So extrude. It automatically selected the shape or the profile. And then we need to set the distance as 0.125. The last thing we have to do are to drill the two holes, a hole on either side. I'm going to drill those two holes, making sure we're using the same center point. <clears throat> now in Inventor 2020, it's a little bit trickier to do a hole lining up to match a circle. So the first thing we need to do, is so we're gonna put a new sketch on the face. So just right click on the face, new sketch. The second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna project geometry of the arc and that gives us the center points that we need. So that's all I've done is just project the geometry to get those two center points and finish sketch. And now we can drill a hole using that center point on both of them. And then we want to set the diameter of the hole, which is here. The diameter should be, according to this, 0 0.128, 0 0.128. So set the diameter at 0.128. Click OK. And that is the linkage arm. So we're going to save it as train linkage arm. <clears throat>